Welcome back. We are rounding out this series on whole real food with one of everybody's favorites carbohydrates. So I introduced you to protein and vegetables and fats. And I started out with those first because those are essential in order to function. Now, unfortunately, carbs are not essential in order for us to live, but gosh, they make life really enjoyable. The problem is that we tend to overindulge in them. So I'm not talking about things like vegetables, which actually are carbs. Those are not the ones that get us in trouble. It's the cookies and the pastries and the brownies and the pasta that we tend to overeat. So when we talk about carbohydrate choices, I want you to be smart about this. So going back to this idea of whole real food, your smart carbs should be something that came from a plant. So asking yourself, where did this come from? That should be your first go-to. Now, the question now is how much? And this is where we see so much variation from person to person. But the average recommendation, if you think about a cut handful, that is one serving. Now you might need one serving and your partner or your firefighter might need two or three. So thinking about what works best for you is really where you pay attention to your body and see how it's responding. Now, this is also where we consider life because we're eating for health, we're eating for life, but we're also eating for real. So if it's been a day that you've been able to relax at home, you're not really doing a whole lot, that might not be the day that you need a lot of carbs in your diet. But if you happen to be on shift and you've done some major overhaul or you had a training burn, something like that, and you've exhausted yourself, that is a day that you want to load up on carbs. You gotta replenish that energy because carbs are your body's primary energy source. This, by being smart about your carb choices, this is what allows you the freedom to really enjoy those things that you love. So there's a time and a place for, you know, grilled chicken and steamed broccoli and some brown rice. And there's also a time and a place for a donut. You just got to be smart about it. So thinking about where you can plug carbs in in an intentional way will really help you get towards the goals that you're working so hard for. Now, if you found this helpful or you're really looking for ideas to get smarter about your carb choices, make sure you head on over to the IAFF website. We've got some great resources, some tools, some downloads, some infographics that you can post at the station, you can post at your house, and you can also download the Firefighter Nutrition Guide to help you build a better plate.